Hey folks, welcome back to Dig World. We're here to bring you the most amazing discoveries from the archaeological world. Today, we'll learn seven facts about CERN and the bizarre realm of particle physics that you probably didn't know. So, let's begin. The 1983 discovery of a pair of elementary particles known as the W and Z bosons for which the Nobel Prize in Physics was later given. At CERN in 1989, British computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee contributed to the creation of the World Wide Web by devising a method for computers to communicate with one another known as the Hypertext Transfer Protocol. CERN scientists were the first to generate atoms of anti-hydrogen, hydrogen's antimatter counterpart, in 1995. They found a new state of matter in 2000, quark gluon plasma, a hot, dense particle soup. The Higgs boson was discovered in 2012 at CERN's Large Hadron Collider, earning its discoverers the Nobel Prize. Four years after the Higgs boson particle was discovered, the world's largest research experiment is still attempting to unravel the secrets of our cosmos. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research on the outskirts of Geneva, simulate the aftermath of the Big Bang by sending protons flying into one another at near to the speed of light. Despite the excitement in the physics community when the Higgs boson was discovered in 2012, and popular satisfaction that the experiment did not pull the entire globe into a gaping vortex, there is still so much to learn. CERN's Director General, Fabolo Giannotti, emphasized in a presentation to workers at the World Economic Forum that 95% of the cosmos is yet unknown. We are all motivated by a common desire for knowledge. In other words, no matter how advanced we perceive our age of space travel and self-driving automobiles to be, we are still astoundingly clueless about nearly everything in the world. CERN wishes to modify this. It's a massive project that throws light not just on the esoteric realm of particle physics, but also on worldwide collaboration, purpose, and development. Here are some astonishing facts about Europe's most ambitious scientific endeavor, as the Romanian flag is flown for the first time this week to celebrate the entry of CERN's 22nd member state. Number 1. The coldest place on Earth is the Large Hadron Collider. It's 1.9K, which is close to absolute zero. A cryogenic cooling system maintains it this cold for the superconductor electromagnets, which send proton beams racing towards each other in a loop 100 meters below the Earth. If you were driving bursts of 200,000 billion protons around a 27-kilometer ring at a pace of 11,000 times per second, you'd need some help staying cool. Proton beams hurtle around the ring in opposing directions until they meet with enough force to produce a slew of subatomic particles, including the Higgs boson. The data from 40 million collisions per second is then crunched by a massive detector array. Number 2. The Higgs boson does not represent the god particle. It's the god-awful particle. Before the Higgs boson was discovered on July 4th, 2012, scientists had a hypothesis but no proof for how fundamental particles like electrons and quarks gained their mass. The Nobel Prize winning physicist Leon Lederman planned to call his 1993 book on the subject The Goddamn Particle If the Universe is the Answer, What is the Question? Sensing that this would be too contentious, his publishers changed it to The God Particle, which irritated people who feel that religion and science are different realms. The Higgs boson is unlikely to establish or deny God's existence but it does contribute to the Standard Model, a 1960s physics theory that explains the building blocks of matter and the forces that govern them. One of the missing elements holding the image together was the Higgs boson. Fabolo Giannotti, who directed the Atlas team at the moment the Higgs was discovered, reported noticing for the first time a spike in the data that showed the elusive particle. I'm still getting goosebumps, she said. Number 3. We continue to be at least 95% uneducated. Even with the Higgs discovery, the standards model is incomplete since it only describes three of the four basic forces, excluding gravity. While the theory of relatively adequately covers gravity, the problem is that there is no framework connecting these two theories to provide us with a cohesive picture of the cosmos. Furthermore, the standard model fails to explain dark matter, a mysterious element assumed to provide additional mass to galaxies and account for 27% of the universe. The issue of dark energy, which accounts for another 68% and is assumed to be related to vacuums, is also murky. In reality, the stuff we know about, which includes all stars and galaxies, accounts for barely 5% of the universe. Suffice to say, 
there is still a lot for scientists to learn beyond the Higgs boson, with possible practical applications well beyond anything we can envision now. Number 4. CERN gave rise to the World Wide Web Nobody knows where basic research will take us. Tim Berners-Lee famously established the World Wide Web in 1989 at CERN as a platform for scientists all around the world to share data. The complicated equipment designed for particle physics at CERN and other comparable institutions has generated a plethora of other applications, including PET scans, the most often used method for cancer diagnosis. CERN freely distributes its knowledge. Giannotti cited the history of light as an example to highlight the need for basic, open-ended scientific research. If we had just concentrated on the financial case for bigger and brighter candles, we would have never taken the revolutionary leap to electrical illumination. Number 5. CERN costs the equivalent of a cappuccino per European each year CERN's yearly budget for 2016 is 1.1 billion euros, indicating that science on this scale is not inexpensive. However, being an Italian, Giannotti wants to put this in the perspective of foamy coffee. More crucially, she argues that the argument extends beyond economics, recalling a conversation between Bob Wilson, the creator of the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory, a comparable organization to CERN, and the US Congress in the 1970s. When asked, how will your lab assist US defense? He responded, nothing, but it will make it worthwhile to defend. Number 6. Big science has piqued the interest of the big business as well as geeks. Over 12,500 scientists from more than 110 countries work together at CERN in a culture where authority is based on intellectual contributions rather than hierarchy, and colleagues typically share a sense of purpose. Furthermore, massive teamwork is required to develop something like the CMS detector, which weighs more than the Eiffel Tower, is connected by 3,000 kilometers of cable, and involves components produced by hundreds of companies across five continents. According to a Shumpeter management column in The Economist, this piqued the curiosity of the business world with varied effects. Shumpeter, The Economist, said that in a big science project, teamed with rival proposals spar publicly, forcing all the boffins to articulate their assumptions, justify their choices, and learn enough about their rivals' ideas to criticize them at length. Hiring eggheads rather than dunderheads are generally wise. Though it can backfire, just ask the banks that employed quaints by the dozen to create financial instruments that no one understood. Number 7. However, even the world's largest scientific experiment can be thwarted by weasels. Weasels indeed. The Large Hedron Collider lost electricity in April 2016 when a malicious mouse nibbled through electrical wires. This was in response to an unfortunate event in 2009, in which a bird dropped a piece of baguette onto electrical equipment, causing a power outage. Even the greatest human achievements can encounter the most commonplace problems. So, this was it for today, guys. We hope you enjoy our content. Like and share the video if you did. Subscribe to Dig World on Revealed Finds of the Universe for many more amazing videos. Stay tuned, as we'll be back soon with another informative video for your amusement. Till then, keep digging.